It's time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Thursday, August the 12th, 2021. Brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Funeral service for Pat Jennings Nichols, 94 of Lubbock, formerly of Mule Shoe, is set for 11 o'clock Friday morning, August the 13th at the First United Methodist Church here in Mule Shoe with Richard Ev- Edwards and Angela Carter officiating. Burial will be in the Mule Shoe Memorial Park. Pat died on Thursday, August the 5th, last week in Lubbock. She was born September the 29th, 1926 in Palmer County to Owen and Ruby Davis Jennings. Pat graduated from Mule Shoe High School in 1944. She worked at the gin for many years and was always active in the Methodist Church. Pat was a member of the First United Methodist Church in Mule Shoe and Lake Ridge United Methodist Church in Lubbock. She is preceded in death by her parents, her former husband, John Albert Nichols, a daughter and her husband, Jinda and Jerry Bruns, a brother, Joe Bates Jennings, a son-in-law, Bobby Henry, and one grandson, John Glenn Henry. Pat is survived by her two daughters, Kerma McGuire and her husband, Jean of Lubbock, Belinda Head and her husband, David of Muleshoe, her eight grandchildren, Jeremy Bruns and his wife, Kathy, Jeff McGuire and his wife, Rachel, Russell McGuire and his wife, Allison, Mark McGuire, Bo Henry and his wife, Allison, Brad Henry and his wife, Ashley, Marshall Head and his wife, Amy, Natalie Glendinning and her husband, Brian, and her 14 great-grandchildren. The family suggests memorials be sent to the First United Methodist Church, P.O. Box 505, Muleshoe, Texas, 79347, or the Onita Wagner Senior Center, P.O. Box 292, Muleshoe. Online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com. And repeating, funeral service for Pat Nichols, 94, of Lubbock, formerly in Muleshoe, is set for 11 o'clock Friday morning, August 13th. At the First United Methodist Church here in Muleshoe with Richard Edwards, the former minister back in the 80s, and Angela Carter officiating. Burial will follow in the Muleshoe Memorial Park. Please keep the family of Pat Nichols on your prayer list today. The funeral service for Antonio Rosas Casanova, 96 of Dumas, was held Wednesday morning, yesterday, August the 11th, at LBN Pastor. A church here in Muleshoe with Pastor Ruben Acevedo of Dumas officiating burial was in the Muleshoe Memorial Park. Antonia died on Monday, August the 9th in Dumas. She was born June 3, 1924 in Menard, Texas to Furman and Geronima Ramirez Rosas. She married Jesus Casanova in Greeley, Colorado, October the 17th, 1953. Antonia was a caring mother. She loved sewing and enjoyed being a homemaker. She also loved gardening and animals. Antonia treasured her family most of all. She is preceded in death by her husband, Jesus, her parents, three brothers, Furman Rosas Jr., Fernando Rosas, and Martin Rosas, four sisters, Luisa Gonzalez, Nico Barra, Margarita Rosas, and Aralia Mendoza. Antonia is survived by her two sons, Jesse Casanova Jr., and his wife, Olga of Amarillo, Fernando Casanova, and his wife, Diana of Muleshoe. Two daughters, Gloria Acevedo and her husband, Ruben of Dumas, and Dora Aragon and her husband, Leo of Friona. She is survived by sister, Carolina Barra of Altus, Oklahoma, 13 grandchildren, and 36 great-grandchildren. Online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com. And please keep the family of Antonia Casanova on your prayer list today. Again, her funeral service was held yesterday at LBN Pastor here in Muleshoe. Funeral, uh, funeral service for Scott Berman, 57 in Muleshoe, was held at noon on Wednesday, August 11th yesterday at Ellis Funeral Home Chapel with Radon Stanford officiating. Scott died on Friday, August the 6th in Lubbock. He was born March 19th, 1964 in Lubbock to Keith and Vanda Carter Berman. Scott graduated from Monterey High School in Lubbock in 1982. He wrestled in school, loved rodeo and football. Scott was a jack of all trades. He is preceded in death by his parents. Scott is survived by his fiance, Carol Ring of Muleshoe, two bonus sons, Jason Sexton of Matador, Texas, and Michael Sexton of Hobbs, two uh, bonus daughters, Stephanie Soto of Leveland, and Sarah Castillo and her husband, Garrett of Flomont. 
his brother Brad Berman of Dallas, an aunt Melba Bratcher and her husband Tom of Muleshoe, two cousins Darren Bratcher and Dalen Bratcher. The family suggests memorials be sent to the South Plains Shrine Club, 7412 83rd Street, Lubbock, Texas, 79424. Online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com. Please keep the family of Scott Berman on your prayer list today. Funeral service for Jackie Davis, 70 of Muleshoe, was held last week on Friday, August the 6th at Ellis Funeral Home Chapel here in Muleshoe Burial, followed in the Bailey County Cemetery. Jack died on Saturday, July the 31st in Santa Fe, New Mexico. He was born July 14th, 1951 in Silverton to Jack and Francis Norris Davis. He married Linda Gatlin in Portales. On June the 5th, 1972, Jack graduated from Silverton High School in 1969 and was a cowboy most of his life. He is preceded in death by his wife, Linda, his parents, and his brother, Gene Davis. Jack is survived by a son, Matt Davis of Loveland, a daughter, Sonny Davis of Muleshoe, six grandchildren, Dustin Martin, April Nicole Martin, Katie Cross, Jason Young, Corey Young, and Marlo Birchfield. Online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com. Please keep the fam, family of Jack Davis on your prayer list today. Well, April Smith recently informed us that the Bailey County Ministerial Alliance Food Pantry is moving to a new location. It will be located at 725 East American Boulevard. That will be out there on the east edge of town across from where Bailey County Electric's offices are and the Muleshoe Cowboy Fellowship. The first distribution from the new location will be on Saturday, August the 28th, beginning at 9 a.m. that morning for all Bailey County Ministerial Alliance Food Pantry clients. There will be a volunteer worker training meeting on Monday, August the 23rd at 6 in the evening at the new location. All current volunteers, along with anyone else interested in becoming a volunteer at the food pantry, are invited to attend the training meeting again. The Bailey County Ministerial Alliance Food Pantry is moving to the east edge of town across the American Boulevard from Bailey County Electric along with the Cowboy Fellowship at 725 East American Boulevard. The first distribution uh, from this new location will be on Saturday, August the 28th at 9 a.m. that morning. All Bailey County Ministerial Alliance Food Pantry uh, clients need to uh, mark this down. 725 East American Boulevard. There will be a volunteer worker training meeting for all those that volunteer at the food pantry and all those who wish to volunteer on Monday, August the 23rd at 6 p.m. at this new location. Thanks for that news uh, from April Smith and the Ministerial Food Pantry is Bailey County Ministerial Alliance Food Pantry is moving. Well, sorry we didn't have the mule train news for you last week as it's been quite hectic getting everything ready for the beginning of school and football and everything else that comes along with that. But we have lots of new uh, videos to watch on the front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com. Our Meet Your Neighbor for the month of August is all of the new uh, teachers and staff members in the Muleshoe Independent School District, including at Dillman Elementary, you can meet Jolie Cathy, Rosa Dominguez, Christy Drager, Kimberly Gardner, Bryce Hollingsworth, Brittany King, Madison Lutz, um, Daniela Moreno, Leslie Ar Aranio, Vanessa Ramirez, Clara Reyes, Jana Warnell, and Erica Perez. At DeShazo, the new teachers and staff are Tana Duncan, Crystal Flores, Carrie Hatley, Kaitley Herrera, Kristen Casel, Kristen Ramirez, and Griselda Segura. At Watson Junior High School, Mark Bergman, Kelsey Brown, Kevin Harris, Mary Beth Melendez, William Pacheco, Stephanie Roden, Dolores Russell, and Donna Tivas. At Muleshoe High School, Martha Alvarado, Vanessa Ramirez, Ty Thatcher, and Emma Thom. Uh, also, you will meet at the end of our new teacher uh, portion of the video, the new MHS Mighty M Band Director, Miranda De Bruin, a Muleshoe native who grew up here in our schools, and uh, she introduced you 
to the band as well, and they had a, a march off where they, uh, the band taught Superintendent R. L. Richards, uh, the athletic director Jason Richards, Christian Mora, Larry Cribbs, Coach Adrian Ross, the principal at MHS Cindy Basir, uh, Coach Angela Richards, Stephen Butler, Kim Chafin. And uh, a few others how to march and they had the first annual march off it's a really good video to watch and it's available free of charge on demand uh, courtesy of United Supermarkets on the front page of our website and the winner of the first annual march off was Larry Cribbs who's a teacher at Muleshoe High School also available on the front page of our website, we have Monday's Muleshoe City Council meeting, the live stream from uh, City Hall, and you can see that available, all 25 minutes of it on the front page of our website. They mentioned the last day for the Muleshoe Water Park. It will be open through the end of the weekday. Uh, the last day is Friday, August the 13th, tomorrow for the Muleshoe Water Park on the season. They'll also have one more movie in the park, and it will be next week on August 19th. They'll be showing The Crudes, A New Age, so the sequel to the um, uh, animated movie The Crudes that they showed last month in July. So that will be August 19th there on in the uh, east side of the new city park. Also available on the front page of our website, you will want to watch our Meet the Mules program that was held Monday evening at David Woodfield at Benny Douglas Stadium. And you can meet the new 2021 MHS JV and varsity football teams, the MHS cheerleading squads, both uh, high school and junior high, the MHS Mighty and Marching Band plays, the cross country team and all of the coaches at Muleshoe High School and Watson Junior High School. Of course, the MHS athletic director and football coach is Jason Richards going into his second season helming the Muleshoe Mules. Now, the Mules will have a scrimmage coming up on Friday, August 13th, tomorrow. They will be in action at Dimmit. Now, some of these times have changed. The combined freshman and JV team will play from 5 until 6 p.m. there at uh, the high school at Dimmit. And then the varsity scrimmage will be at 6.30 until 8.30. That's tomorrow, Friday, August 13th, in the first scrimmage of the season at Dimmit. The, the uh, football schedule looks like this. The second scrimmage will be here in Muleshoe versus Olton on August the 19th. The first game will be Friday, August the 27th. All these game times are at 7 p.m. in the evening. So they will play here in Muleshoe versus Sundown on August the 27th. Uh, September the 3rd, they will be in action on the road at La Mesa at 7 p.m. September the 10th, here uh, closer to home but at Friona versus Friona. September the 17th, uh, here in Muleshoe versus Tulia. September the 24th, be in action on the road at Seminole. Then October the 1st, they will have homecoming here in Muleshoe versus Snyder. And, of course, the head coach of the Snyder football team is Wes Wood, who graduated from Muleshoe High School. October the 8th, we will begin the district season uh, here in Muleshoe versus Bushland. An open date on October the 15th and then October the 22nd. Uh, we'll bring a game at Amarillo River Road. Then senior night here in Muleshoe, October 29th versus Dalhart at Benny Douglas Stadium. And then finish up the regular season on uh, November the 5th at Littlefield. And again, all these game times are at 7 p.m. And we are gearing up to live stream these games. Uh, game time live stream will be at 6.50 each one of these district and pre-district regular season games beginning on August the 27th, Friday, against sundown here in Muleshoe at 7 p.m. Elliot Davis will be doing our call again this year. Well, we're also trying to start back up our tradition of doing the first day of school interviews 
We'll be uh, having Carolyn Johnson interview kids that go to school for the very first time in their lives this next Tuesday, August the 17th, beginning at 4 p.m. when all the schools are out here in Muleshoe. So if your child is going to school for the very first time in their lives, so pre-K or kindergarten kids, we would love to have Carolyn Johnson interview them for us. You can call or text us to schedule an appointment, 806-566-5881. That's my cell phone. You can call or text me, and we can schedule an appointment to interview your kid after the first day of school on Tuesday, August the 17th. We want kids who are going for the very first time in their lives, either pre-K or kindergarten kids, and uh, thankfully, Carolyn Johnson agreed to do that for us. So look for that coming up mid next week. Well, we were happy to read earlier in the week that Todd Newberry was chosen as the new superintendent at Petersburg ISD, northeast of Lubbock. Todd, for several years, was the principal at Dillman Elementary School, while his wife, was the nurse at DeShazo Elementary, Kira, and uh, they moved from Muleshoe uh, several years ago as he took a job as a principal in the Friendship School District out in Wolferth, and Kira went to work in as a NICU nurse in the hospitals in Lubbock, and congratulations to Todd Newberry as he has been chosen as the new superintendent at Petersburg ISD. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. This edition of the Mule Train is brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant. I am Isla Reynolds, and I know enough about quality, authentic Mexican food to know it gets no better than Leal's Mexican Restaurant at 1010 West American Boulevard in Milshi, Texas. The yummy chips and salsa enchiladas made with love and finest of ingredients. Dine in now or carry out by calling 806-272-3294. The original in business since 1957, Leal's Mexican Restaurant at Mill Street, Texas. Well, the centennial celebration, mark this on your calendar for First Baptist Church. Of course, it got delayed from last year during the uh, pandemic and has been rescheduled for this fall, October 23rd, Saturday and Sunday, October the 24th. You can see Dr. Stacey Connor talk about that, sort of, uh, the centennial celebration at the first of our live stream from this past Sunday, available on our website, muleshoetv.com. Click on the First Baptist tab at the top left corner. Also at the First Baptist Church, tomorrow on Friday, August 13th, they'll have a teacher and staff. Uh, appreciation meal for all the meal shoe to ISD teachers and staff and yesterday August the 11th on Wednesday they had a successful back to school cookout at the new city park Calvary Baptist is planning a 75th uh, celebration anniversary of the church and we'll have more information about that as it gets closer but it will be sometime in this fall also, they're still taking pre-orders for the Calvary Baptist cookbooks. It, they're only $15 per book to purchase. You can contact any member of the ladies group at Calvary Baptist Church or call 806-946-9400. And, of course, all the funds go to the ladies group there at Calvary Baptist Church, and it will be filled with a lot of great recipes in this Calvary Baptist Church cookbook. Again, call 806-946-9400 to pre-order your cookbook. Well, after 16 months, we have got our uh, Channel 6 TV back up and running at the Parkview Nursing Care Center. Of course, it is quite a hassle to get in and out of the park view as you have to uh, have a lot of safety pro protocols during the pandemic so we'll be updating the tv uh, the channel 6 tv in the west sunroom at the park view nursing care center once a week and i noticed the last program uh, i put on there was from march the 9th 2020 when i updated it yesterday so 16 months in between our uh, service being disrupted during the pandemic 
there at Parkview Nursing Care Center, but it is up and running now. If you have a resident or a loved one or a family or friend in the Parkview, tell them that they can watch our Channel 6 programming now in the West Sunroom at the Parkview Nursing Care Center. Of course, we update on uh, more two or three times a week our two TVs. One is in the community room at the Harmon Elliott Senior Citizens Housing Apartment Complex and there on Main Street at Main and Avenue D at the Bailey County Senior Center. You can find our Channel 6 TVs with our current program programming rotating in all three of those locations again. You're invited to come and see all the improvements at the Muleshoe Heritage Center and enjoy a renovation celebration Saturday, August 21st. From 4 until 8 p.m., there will be hot dogs, homemade ice cream, and entertainment by Curtis Shelburne, Gage Brockman, face painting by Dee Dee. You can ride the Caltrain. Raffle tickets will be available for a grill and an ice cream freezer donated by Higginbotham's. Tickets will be $2 each or $20 for $25 tickets again a renovation celebration at the muleshoe heritage center there on the west edge of town on saturday august 21st 4 until 8 p.m hot dogs homemade ice cream and entertainment by curtis shelburne and gage brockman everyone is welcome it's time now for the weather forecast brought to you today by k and k pharmacy located right here in muleshoe 1411 West American Boulevard. They're open Monday through Fridays, 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. You can call them, 806-272-7511. You can come in the store, use their very convenient drive through on the west edge of the building, or they can also deliver to you to your home here in Muleshoe. Don't forget uh, to get your children, school-age children, all of their vaccinations for school is starting back up next week on Tuesday here in Muleshoe for the Muleshoe ISD and all uh, along with all of our area schools. You can get all your children's immunizations available now at K&K Pharmacy. They also have adult immunizations available uh, as well, including influenza, varicella, shingles, pneumococcal, HPV, Tdap, and also you can get your COVID vaccination at done at K&K Pharmacy here in Muleshoe, 1411 West American Boulevard, Call them 806-272-7511. Christine Isaacson, Crystal Alarcon, the pharmacist, and all of their very helpful employees can help you out to get back into the rhythm of school, get all your immunizations for your kids, also adult immunizations and COVID immunizations. Also, they're carrying the new Goalie Gummies, Superfruits, Beauty, Wellness, and Nutrition. The Goalie Gummies uh, contain all the Superfruits, in one gummy, improve nutrition, wellness, and beauty, skin and health appearance, collagen formation. It supports immune systems and provides essential nutrients available now at K&K Pharmacy, 1411 West American Boulevard. They're open Monday through Fridays, 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. Well, looking at our weather forecast, we're going to have some cooler temperatures on the way, along with some rain chances. We did get some rain Uh, For the first time, some substantial rain in August here at the National Weather Service Station at Channel 6. Saturday evening, August 7th, we got 48 one-hundredths of an inch of rain. The mesonet south of town, the Muleshoe mesonet, got about four-tenths. And the earth mesonet only got a small trace of rain. So far on the month of August, the earth mesonet is only at 13 one-hundredths of an inch of the rain through the first 12 days in August, and the Muleshoe Mesonet has 47 one-hundredths of an inch of rain so far in August. So hopefully that will change here in the next several days as going into uh, this afternoon today on Thursday, we'll have a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms after 1 p.m., partly sunny, high near 88 degrees, so cooler, south winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. This afternoon, then a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms this evening. Mostly cloudy, low around 64. South-southeast winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, becoming west 5 to 10 miles per hour after midnight tonight. Then on Friday, another chance of showers and thunderstorms. Then showers likely and possibly a thunderstorm in the afternoon hours. Mostly cloudy, high only around 82 degrees, so it's going to be really nice Tomorrow on Friday with cool temperatures, cloudy conditions, 
and chances of thunderstorms. Northeast winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour becoming southeast in the morning. The chance of rain tomorrow during the day time hours will be 60%. Then a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms Friday evening. Mostly cloudy, low around 62. East-southeast winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Again, rain chances in the forecast for Saturday, a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. During the day, partly sunny, high near 83, so another much cooler day. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms Saturday evening, partly cloudy, low around 60. South, southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming light and variable after midnight sunday continuing a 30 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon hours mostly sunny high near 85 degrees west winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming south in the afternoon hours mostly clear sunday night low around 61 south wind 5 to 10 miles per hour no rain chances sunday evening monday sunny high near 87 degrees so warming up somewhat south southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour, then mostly clear Monday night, low around 61. Sunny conditions on Tuesday, high near 88 degrees, mostly clear Tuesday night, low around 63. Wednesday, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, sunny, high near 89. So much cooler temperatures in the forecast for the next seven days and some really big rain chances, 50 and 60 percent coming up through Friday into the weekend uh, uh, day parts and then much cooler temperatures next week with rain chances coming into the forecast again midweek next week. k k Pharmacy has presented to you this edition of the weather, cast, uh, weather forecast for Mule Shoe, Texas. We will be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. I grew up in DeLeon, Texas. DeLeon is a town in north central Texas. In 2011, uh, I went to Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine. I graduated in 2015. I did an internship in Jersey City. I stayed there and completed a residency in family medicine. And I started here August of 2018. So I actually see patients from the full newborn screening exams to uh, very old. So everything in between. It's important as you get on in life that you establish a relationship with the doctor, that you're able to discuss personal issues and have a trust there. And so as soon as you can establish that relationship, you and your doctor or a team, and you're working towards this goal, and the better you can work with your doctor as a team, the more honest you are with your doctor, uh, the more information you can give him, the better the results will be. Well, since our last COVID update two weeks ago on the mule train, we have stayed steady at seven active COVID cases here for Bailey County, according to the Texas Department of Health, but all our surrounding counties have gone up significantly over the past two weeks. Palmer County went from four active cases to 18 over the past two weeks. Lamb County has gone from 28 to 72 active cases. Hell County, 53 to 119 active cases as of yesterday. Hockley County, 52 to 87 active cases. And Cochrane County, south of us in Morton, from four to six active cases. So it's very important to go get your COVID vaccine now if you haven't already. And our fully vaccinated here of those 12 and over here in Bailey County has inched up to 38% of the population. And those 65 and older has gone up to 66%. We have gone up significantly over the past two weeks of the whole state. Those 12 and over fully vaccinated, we've gone from 52 to 60 four percent of the whole state and this is that delta uh, variant that is here in uh, the muleshoe area and on the south plains and panhandle regions and we're already stressing out the icu capacity in lubbock along with amarillo and we've uh, begin hearing again about people having to be transferred to places uh, like plainview and uh, into New Mexico and other places because the capacity to handle a situation, whether it's COVID or anything else emergency-wise, is being strained here in our regional hospitals in Lubbock and Amarillo. I think I counted up, and the entirety of Lubbock between, of course, the huge one is UMC. They have nearly 95 ICU beds. Covenant has 
another 30, 40 ICU beds, and then uh, a, a small handful of ICU beds in the Lubbock Heart Hospital, along with Covenant Specialty Hospital. It, it totals like 170, 180 ICU beds in total in the city of Lubbock. Amarillo is even smaller than that at around 80 ICU beds in the whole city of Amarillo. So not many ICU beds and lots and lots of patients, lots of them being COVID uh, patients that are in, in need of critical care as this Delta variant is very dangerous. So get your vaccination now. You can do that at k k Pharmacy. You can do it at any of the clinics in the Muleshoe Area Medical Center as well. I'm sure the uh, pharmacy at United has COVID vaccines available as well. But keep on your prayer list today all of our Bailey County EMS workers, all of our uh, staff and doctors and nurses and administrators at our Muleshoe Area Medical Center, along with all those in the hospitals in Lubbock, Plainview and Amarillo that are handling so much new COVID uh, going on right now in this spike here in our area. Also keep on your prayer list those patients that are battling COVID. Here at the Bailey County Senior Center, Main and Avenue D, they begin serving lunch at 1130. On the menu for uh, this uh, Thursday, August the 12th, salmon patty, scallop potatoes, green peas, toss vegetable salad, low-cal French dressing, slice whole wheat bread, peach apple crisp. That's on the menu today on Thursday, August the 12th. Tomorrow on Friday, they'll be serving Fish or chicken strips, baracho beans, green peas, tossed vegetable salad, low-cal French dressing, whole wheat roll, and a tropical fruit mix. Next week, on Monday, August the 16th, cheeseburger with bun, potato wedges. Then on Tuesday, August the 17th, chicken salad sandwich, tomato, lettuce, and pickle, macaroni salad, carrot sticks, and watermelon. Then Wednesday next week, chicken fried steak and mashed potatoes. Then Thursday next week on August 19th, creamy mushrooms, uh, steak, mashed potatoes, peas and carrots, whole wheat roll, margarine, uh, emerald pears, and that's all on the menu for the next week at the Oneida Wagner Senior Citizens Center. They will have Ann Johnson there during the lunch hour entertaining, playing the piano at the Bailey County Senior Center tomorrow on Friday, August the 13th. They will have a Matter of Balance workout group beginning at 10 a.m. On Monday, August 16th, the Art Association will have an activity at 1 p.m. Tuesday, August the 17th. Of course, every Wednesday at 1 p.m., they uh, play bingo or loteria. That's 1 p.m. every Wednesday. And then Matter of Balance next week on Thursday at 10 a.m. They'll have their birthday celebration next week on Thursday, August the 18th, during the lunch hour. And they will have a craft uh, at 1 p.m. next week on Thursday as well. That's all going at uh, on at the Bailey County Senior Center, Main and Avenue D. Everyone is welcome. In our bargain basement today, we have looking for a repairman to work on a chain link fence in Sudan. Also, they have for sale a 1998 Pontiac Grand Prix, uh, and it was a formerly uh, owned by uh, Bobby Labonte. Also, a 2008 Chevy Malibu. It's in good shape with a warranty. Uh, you can call in Sudan. 227-2214. Speak with the Reverend Prentice. He was at the Orthodox Catholic Church there on the edge of town. Again, looking for a repairman to uh, fix a chain link fence and for sale two cars, a 98 Pontiac Grand Prix and a 2008 Chevy Malibu. Call Reverend Prentice in Sudan, 806-227-2214. Well, on your prayer list today, please continue to remember Jeff Skipworth. Remember Frank McCamish, who's a new resident at the Parkview Nursing Care Center. Jimmy Kay and Lynn Moore. Deborah Walls. Continue to remember Ed Cox on your prayer list today down in the Houston area. Former longtime Muleshoe native. Cindy Barrett needs to be on your prayer list today. Debbie Connor, Darlene Martin, Marilyn Cox, Michael Angeli, Chance Hulse. Keep mom on your prayer list today. Megan Reynolds. 
Kearney Scoggin. Please remember Lynn Campbell in Lubbock. She has had a rough go of it recently. And also her husband, Buck. Kearney Scoggin, Melbourne Tom Bratcher. Sally Ellis in our Parkview Nursing Care Center. Wanda Cockerham, Marjorie Morgan. Continue to remember um, Connie Alanis, along with her husband, Robert. Paul Hammer. Carolyn Kaufman. Kelvin Johnson. Please keep Barbara Scott on your prayer list today. She's been in the hospital in Lubbock for quite some time now. Remember Ray Luaris in the hospital in Plainview. Continue to remember former Muleshoe resident Virgil Snell uh, as he's been in the hospital in the Dallas-Fort Worth area along with his son Cash Snell who's in Cook's Children's Hospital in Fort Worth. Remember, please, those grieving the recent loss of a loved one, including the family of Pat Nichols, the family of Jack Davis, the family of Scott Berman, the family of Antonia Casanova, the family of Elijah Gomez. Remember the family of Gerald Layton, the family of Randy Smith, the family of James Butch Glenn Cox, the family of Sherry Russell, and the family of Ruben Rodriguez. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train News program along with all of our archived older ones on our website, free of charge, on demand. Go to MuleShoeTV.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the front page. This is Tumbleweed Smith, a log home that's not so small after all. Details in a moment on The Sound of Texas. The Sound of Texas is brought to you here on MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe at 610 East American Boulevard as well as in Morton at 1744 State Highway 114. They're celebrating rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric since 1939. They're owned by the members that they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online at BCEC. COOP.com, the board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope you enjoy this Sound of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. After a career in the medical field, Dr. Deborah Burkett settled down on some family land in Cherokee County. She hired a company to build her a log home. She looked at the foundation and thought it was too small. My granddaddy's brother, Uncle Aaron, was still living when I was building this home. He walked around. He said, do you see that broom over in the corner that the workmen are using? I said, yes, sir. He said, you get that broom and you sweep this entire foundation and then you tell me it's too small. I said, I think you're right. This is about the right size. (laughs) Dr. Burkett spent some time in Alaska and has a cottonwood mantle from that state. She also has a totem pole made by an Alaskan artist called Birdman. It's a bear made out of one piece of wood, and he's clutching, the bear's clutching a giant salmon, and the giant salmon is food and harvest, which is good luck. That always stood in Birdman's front yard, and I always told him I wanted it, and he said I put my hex on it. He had to mail it because it belonged to me because I loved it so much. It was quite an ordeal to get the totem pole from Alaska to the woods in Cherokee County. Birdman's the champ at making do. So he found a big refrigerator box, put the totem pole in that with lots of duct tape. Also in it was the cottonwood mantle piece, and also was the moose horns that you saw in the bedroom. They were broken, you know, the two pieces. The the head wasn't there, so Birdman was able to scrooch and ooch and put a horn here and another horn there. Movers from Palestine called and said, We have a package to deliver. And I said, that's good. Bring it on. He said, oh, no, lady, you don't understand. We don't deliver anything over a 1,000 pounds. So I said, oh, dear. I said, what is it? He said, we don't know, but we're taking bets. So I got a lot of guys with one big pickup, and we all go to Palestine. Once I got there and I saw a piece of the horn sticking out and a piece of the totem pole sticking out, I knew what it was. (laughs) Dr. Deborah Burkett of Mixon. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with The Sound of Texas. 
Well, as a little bonus here at the end of today's Mule Train News Program, we thought we would tack on to the end of it a look back 10 years ago. And we'll go back to August the 12th, 2011, and uh, play our Mule Train News Program from 10 years ago today with Mom doing the Mule Train. And if you hear some of the sponsors that are still around here in Mule Shoe and that have uh, not... Uh, advertising with us in our current day meal train maybe uh, next time you see them or their employees the owners and uh, remind them that we're still here doing the meal chain news and we would appreciate their support anyway we'll go back to august the 12th 2011 and the meal train news program that played on that day it is time now for the meal train news brought to you today by the first bank a tight right because here it comes the world famous mule train. Howdy out there neighbors it's time for Gil Lamb's Mule Train News coming to you from the world's largest town named Muleshoe in Texas of course. Our family has been broadcasting this program for over 56 years and we think it just might catch on. We have something in Muleshoe that you will not find anywhere else and that is the National Mule Memorial. Stop just near the crossroads in downtown Muleshoe at U.S. Highway 8470 and 214 and read the Texas historical marker about the mule. Visit our Muleshoe Heritage Complex and the Muleshoe National Wildlife Refuge, the first national wildlife refuge ever established in the state of Texas, 20 miles south of town. And be sure at sunrise and sunset in the fall to see the Sand Hill Cranes. We have a lot to be proud of in Muleshoe, a superior hospital and caring doctors, an excellent Muleshoe area public library, modern school system with non-striking, non-demonstrating, not pot smoking teachers with modern school buildings and the 2008 Muleshoe Mule State Champions. Did you know Muleshoe was the home of the late George Washington and believe it or not, the Jenny Slippers, the World Championship Muleshoe Pitching Contest. If you would like to live 18 miles from Earth, move into Muleshoe and you will do just that. The Sudan Flea Market has been so very successful. Doug Ames says they're extended it to three days. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they'll be open from 8 to 1, all three days, and that is at 8.03 West or East U.S. Highway 84 in Sudan, right across the highway from the Chuck Wagon Restaurant, and... They do have two booth spaces available for this weekend. Contact Doug Ames to reserve a booth space. They're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday now, 8 to 1 at the Sudan Flea Market. The first scrimmage for the Muleshoe Mules will be with Idaloo, on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock with the varsity and then following that will be the JV and ninth grade scrimmages here in Muleshoe. The second scrimmage for MHS will be with Lubbock Cooper out of Woodrow and that is Thursday night August the 18th also here on the MHS campus. Meanwhile, the two-a-day workouts continue every morning and evening, and players are giving plenty of water and snacks, Superintendent Gene Sheets says, due to our extreme heat that we have been experiencing. However, <laughs> you can say in the 90s is cooler, but it is 
cooler than 104, 100, and 101, and 2, and 3. And we have cooler weather here in the Milshue area. Next Tuesday, Milshue Mills head football coach David Wood will talk to the members of the Milshue Rotary Club at their regular noon luncheon meeting at the Civic Center here. All visiting Rotarians are always welcome. We are expanding our coverage of the Mules to include live audio feeds of the Mules games this fall on Friday nights here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 in Milshu, Sudan, Amherst, and Earth. Also on our website, gillamadvertisingmilshu.com. And they will be brought to you through the courtesy of these sports-minded Milshu Mill merchants. Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, Barrett Potato Farms, the Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, the Milshu State Bank, Frank Cox True Value Hardware, Western 66, C.K. Nichols Incorporate, McDonald's and Milshu, Shipman Body Shop, at Mohawk Auto Parts. Now also, later in the season, we'll have Burton Service Center, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Irrigation Pumps and Power, Ray Lee Equipment, and High Tech Automotive coming in to assist on these broadcasts. Still, every Saturday morning at 9 o'clock, we will be broadcasting all of the Milshu Mills video games here on Reach Broadband Channel 6. So we are quite excited about our extended coverage. If you would like to be a sponsor of Mules Football on Gil Lamb Advertising, Milshu.com, around the world, as well as here on Channel 6. Be sure and call 806-272-3990 and talk with Jack and Gil Reynolds, who will work with you diligently on your fall football advertising program. Also, we are expanding our Gillam Advertising Milshu.com coverage. We will be through the courtesy of one of our longtime faithful listeners of Channel 6 bring you on our front page of our website the sermon from the First United Methodist Church. That will be put on the page every Sunday afternoon. The Reverend Monty Lavelle, the pastor of the church sermon, will go up just like for over a year we've had Dr. Stacy Connors on our webpage from the First Baptist Church, and that, of course, will continue. There's tabs at the top of our webpage. Uh, it has archives, latest videos, and then the First Baptist, and we've added the First Methodist there on those tabs right under the pictures at the top of Gillam Advertising Milshu.com's front page. So be sure and check it out. Remember Jim Scott on your prayer list as he recuperates from his surgery that was done at University Medical Center in Lubbock on Tuesday afternoon. That's Jim Scott on our prayer list and his wife Barbara and their family too. We'll be back with more Mule Train news and an update of the weather forecast that looks encouraging for Mule Shoe, Sudan, Amherst, and Earth. 
and now five area telephone west plains telecommunications your telephone neighbors brings you the weather forecast for earth amherst sudan Mulesu, and our entire vicinity your telephone neighbors Five area telephone, West Plains Telecommunications in Milshu, serving all of our entire area with residential and business plans to meet your individual needs. Call 806 272 5533 or toll free 1 800 741 6925. Visit them in their modern headquarters at 302 Uvalde at the west edge of Milshu adjacent to the Civic Center. Whatever your communication needs, they can be met by West Plains Telecommunications. Your local broadband provider has higher speeds at lower prices to keep you in touch with our world. Your telephone neighbors... Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications. On Thursday afternoon, 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms, and the weatherman calls for partly sunny with a high near 95 degrees. On Thursday night, it increases to 30% chance of rain and partly cloudy, low around 68. Friday, Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night, and Sunday, there is all a 20% chance of precipitation on those days. On TGIF Friday, high Near 96, low 67. Saturday, high 93, low around 67. Sunday, even cooler, high near 91, low 67. Monday, no precipitation in the forecast, and that's the first day that there's no precipitation in the forecast. And the high near 95, low 67. Tuesday, high 96, low 67. And Wednesday, the high should be near 98 degrees. Over at Spade Community, they got three and a half inches of rain earlier this week. And so we're keeping our fingers crossed and you keep rain in the top of your prayer list please 100 degrees was the high officially in Milshew on Wednesday 69 was our low according to Jack Reynolds who's the official weather recorder for the U.S. Weather Bureau out of Lubbock it's going to be a back to school bash Saturday evening at 6 for all ages and intense ministry will be in Milshew, and they're going to provide tons of fun, breaking bricks and bats, tearing up phone books, rolling steel pans, and bending steel bars. Also, there will be prizes given away at the Back to School Bash Saturday evening at 6 at the First Assembly of God Church Family Life Building, located at 521 South 1st Street here in Milshew, and that is right across the street south from Frying Cox Incorporated. And the pastor of the First Assembly of God Church in Milshew, the Reverend Ryan Pate, says, All ages are welcome to come if you want to have tons of fun at this back-to-school bash Saturday evening at 6 at the Family Life Building of the First Assembly of God Church here in Muleshoe. The viewing of the body of Kenneth Jean George, 81 of Lubbock, 
formerly of Millshoe, will be Saturday morning at 9, followed by graveside services at the Rest Haven Memorial Park in Lubbock at 10. Lunch will be served at noon at the Sunset Church of Christ Chapel. The They will follow with a 1 o'clock memorial service for Kenneth George. He lived here in Muleshoe back in the 1960s when he worked for Jack Baker at Baker's Farm Supply in Muleshoe. Kenneth George died Sunday. Please remember all of the George family in your prayers. Also, the family of Mnesto Muniz continues to be in our prayers. He was 67 years of age of Muleshoe when he died last Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock Mountain Daylight Savings Time at the edge of Clovis. He was driving his pickup westbound into Clovis on U.S. Highway 84 when the pickup collided with the back of a tractor trailer that had slowed to turn into the Indian River Transport parking lot on the north side of the highway. He is survived by his son, Hosai, his three daughters, Perla A., and Luce Maria and Julia Nancy Rodriguez plus nine grandchildren. Senor Modesto Muniz had lived in Muleshoe since 1987. The Muleshoe Meals on Wheels program is in need of your financial support. The new director of the Bailey County Office of the Aging, Shelby Carpenter, tells us that Meals on Wheels was established 27 years ago here in Millshoe. It is partially funded by South Plains Association of Government. However, they do not receive enough funding from SPAG for it to cover all of the cost of the meals. And they need the support of individuals, of businesses, and organizations here in Millshoe to continue this valuable service to our senior citizens. For only $4 a day, you can provide a hot meal for one person. That translates into $20 a week or $80 a month. For the annual cost, $960, you can make sure that someone in your community gets a good, nutritious meal and stays healthy. Every client that participates in this program will be very grateful. The meals have been provided seven days a week and even on holidays through the generosity of a private donor who has died just recently, and we can all imagine who that was. And the Muleshoe Meals on Wheels Incorporated Board of Directors has discussed continuing the seven days a week, but at this time, they cannot provide the weekend meals or the holiday meals. They will continue, of course, to provide the Monday through Friday weekday meals. The weekend meals were only costing $2 a day, and the South Plains Association of Governments does not fund weekend meals at all, Shelby Carpenter says. Also, they're always in need of volunteers to come and help deliver 
the 56 meals five days a week. The recipients of these nutritious meals are elderly and cannot leave their homes or they do not have the funds to buy food. Many of these clients eat those meals not just for lunch when they are delivered, but also for dinner as well. They are all 60 years of age and older who are on Mule Shoe Meals on Wheels. If you would like to be a volunteer to deliver Meals on Wheels in Mule Shoe, or you would like to contribute to Meals on Wheels financially, please contact the Bailey County Office of the Aging at the courthouse. The telephone number is 806-272-3647, and these contributions can be given in memory or in honor of someone, and Shelby Carpenter will notify the person you wish to be notified. You can go by her office on the first floor of the courthouse at 300 South 1st Street here in Millshoe. You walk in that south door on the south end of the courthouse and right across from the judge's office, Sherry Harrison's, is the office on the aging. And Shelby Carpenter is new to that office. She replaced Debbie Floyd on August the 1st. Shelby is a 2008 Milshu High School graduate and the daughter of Zaina and Jeff Carpenter of Milshu. So please contribute as much as you possibly can to this very worthwhile cause and helping senior citizens right here in Milshu continue to receive Mule Shoe Meals on Wheels. Again, the telephone number is 806-272-3647, Bailey County Office of the Aging. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in a jiffy, so please stay tuned. The First Bank of Muleshoe is proud to announce First Bank Online, www.fbmuleshoe.com. You can transfer funds easily between accounts, make loan payments, view current and previous statement activity, pay bills online with bill pay, and bank anytime with 24-7 access. Call or come by the First Bank here in Muleshoe, 202 South 1st Street, 272-4515, and they can get you registered Member FDIC, First Bank, announcing First Bank Online, www.fbmuleshoe.com. The Sudan Flea Market at 403 U.S. Highway 84 in Sudan has expanded. They're going to now open on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., and all three days, vendors will be there. They have two booth spaces available. Call Doug Ames for more information on getting a booth, 806-317-6588. And that is uh, an expansion. They're going to be open now on Fridays as well as Saturday and Sundays, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Sudan Flea Market. They have for sale wooden love seat swings, craft booths, used appliances, and much, much more going on. This weekend and every weekend at the Sudan Flea Market, 403 U.S. Highway 84. Call Doug Ames, 806-317-6588 if you're interested in getting a booth space that's in Sudan right across the street from the Chuck Wagon restaurant. Terry Markle and Tom K. Bonds at Tom Bonds uh Dental Clinic here in Muleshoe are pleased to announce the association of Hilda Ortiz, RDH, with their uh, clinic here in Muleshoe. She is available now for dental cleaning appointments at Tom K. Bonds, DDSPA Clinic, 
at 108 West 2nd Street here in Muleshoe. Call to make an appointment, 806-272-5004 or 806-272-5908. That's Hilda Ortiz, RDH, now available for dental cleaning appointments at Tom K. Bond's DDS Clinic here in Muleshoe. 108 West 2nd Street, call 806-272-5004 or 806-272-5908. Se habla espanol. A pastel chalk art class for all ages will be taught starting Monday evening, 6 to 9, at the Muleshoe Center of South Plains College at 621 West 2nd here in Muleshoe behind our hospital. To register for this pastel chalk art class, call Connie Kenmore at 806-272-3346. Tuition is $84. The classes will be Monday evening 6 to 9 on August the 15th that's this coming Monday, then August the 22nd, 29th, and September the 12th. They will be taught by Allison Broughton. And if you want to talk to the teacher about the pastel chalk art classes for all ages, call Allison at 817-504-0189 on her cell phone. You will need to uh, supply your own art items. And that's Monday night, 6 to 9, starting this Monday at the Muleshoe Center of South Plains College. Call to register, 806-272-3346. The Muleshoe Girl Scouts will have a back-to-school party registration and bridging ceremony Thursday evening, August the 18th, 7 to 9, at the Jenny Slippers Mule Pup Miniature Golf Course off of U.S. Highway 84 at the west edge of Muleshoe between the Muleshoe Heritage Foundation and the Civic Center. They'll serve hot dogs to the girls and their families, play games, and also you can register for Girl Scouting, celebrating their 100th year of scouting. This is for kindergarten through 12th grade girls. Daisy Scouts, kindergarten and first graders, brownies, for second and third grade girls, junior Girl Scouts, fourth and fifth grade, cadets, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, senior Girl Scouts, ninth and tenth, and ambassadors, eleventh and twelfth. The leaders presently are Nelda Merritt, Heather Harper, Yvette Garcia, Stacy Craig, and Sonia Bastillas. And they always need more adult volunteers. Girl Scouting builds girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. Registration is only $12 per girl for an entire year. And financial aid is available if needed. On next Thursday night, you will meet troop leaders, the service unit members, and also on display will be the new journey books. It's your planet. Love it. That's registration, bridging ceremony, and back to school party for Girl Scouts Thursday evening, August the 18th at 7 o'clock at the Mule Putt Miniature golf course here in Millshoe. The Elder Care Conference will be held on Saturday, August the 20th, starting at 9 o'clock for all senior citizens and also their families and interested persons and caretakers. 
The speaker will be Texas AgriLife Specialist Andy Croker of Amarillo. He is a wonderful speaker and full of lots of information that pertains to seniors. He is a geriatric specialist. His program will be an eye-opening presentation. The Elder Care Conference will conclude after lunch around 1 o'clock on Saturday, August the 20th at the Oneida Wagnon Senior Citizen Center and it's free and open to everyone. Lots of door prizes will be awarded and there will also be booths set up that senior citizens will be interested in. Kathy Carr, Beta County Extension Agent, says. For more information, you can call her office at 806-272-4583. At the Oneida Wagnon Senior Citizen Center, they will have their monthly board meeting Monday after lunch at 1230, and it is open to the public, especially they encourage persons to come who have new ideas or projects for the senior citizens in Millshoe. Tuesday morning is Bunko Day, so come and play Bunko, and on Thursday, August the 18th is birthday party day they will celebrate all senior citizens who have a birthday in the month of august and pat and wt watson will entertain with their beautiful music the attendance at the senior citizen center at main and avenue d in downtown milshoe is still below normal so many people are out of town on vacation and enjoying their family and also traveling in other locations right now, Laverne Wynn, the director, says. Don't forget that in Texas, the tax-free weekend is August 19th, 20th, and 21st. Now, we talked recently about the many, many school supplies that will be tax-free. Here's a list of some of the tax-free clothing, footwear, backpacks that will be exempt from tax August the 19th through the 21st in Texas. Baby clothes, backpacks for the use by elementary and secondary students, and I'm just wondering how are they going to know when you buy a backpack who's really going to use it. Bells, uh, pardon me, belts with attached buckles, boots, cowboy boots and hiking boots, caps and hats, baseball caps, fishing caps, golf and knitted caps, coats and wraps, diapers for adults and babies. That's sort of strange. There's no adult who's going to wear a diaper that's going to go to school. And yet the backpacks have to be used only by elementary and secondary students. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. That sounds like some legislators made this out. Dresses, gloves, gym suits and uniforms, hooded shirts and hooded sweatshirts, hosiery jackets, jeans, baseball and football jerseys, jogging apparel, neckwear and ties, pajamas, pants and trousers, raincoats and ponchos, robes, shirts, sandals, slippers, sneakers, tennis and walking shoes, socks including athletic socks, Shorts, suits, slacks, jackets, sweatwear, sweatshirts, pardon me, sweat suits, sweaters, swimsuits, underclothes, work clothes, and uniforms will all be discounted 
tax-free weekend in Texas coming up right before school starts August 19th through the 21st. Muleshoe schools will open their doors to the students on the morning of Monday, August the 22nd. We are interviewing the new teachers, new to the Muleshoe ISD. You'll want to be sure and watch for that interview on Reach Broadband Channel 6 only, along with GillamAdvertisingMuleshoe.com on our web page. You can find us on Facebook, that is Gil Lamb, and on YouTube as well. And we thank you so much for watching. It helps us stay on the air. Mary Hale's family remains in our prayers. She was the aunt of Dolores Harvey of Millshoe, and her funeral was held Wednesday morning at Adams Funeral Home in Rawls. Mrs. Hale was 100 years of age and the sister of Mr. Shoemaker, Dolores' father, who also lives in Rawls and formerly lived here. If you have a child or a grandchild or you know of a child or a neighbor who is starting to school this year for the very first time ever in their little lives, we want so much to interview them after their first day of school. Call us here at Channel 6, 806-272-3990 and give us the name of the child, the parent's name, and also the parent's telephone number so we can contact the parents and line up these interviews for after school Monday, August the 22nd. Now, if your child lives outside of Millshoe, you can bring them to our studios here in Millshoe at 1011 West 3rd. Well, it's about time for us to go on the Mule Train News and be grateful that we do have coming up here in Millshoe and our vicinity rain in our forecast and we're very grateful and don't forget all ages are welcome at the back to school bash saturday evening at six and tons of fun with intense ministries they will be breaking bricks and bats tearing up telephone books rolling steel pans and bending steel bars at the first assembly of god churches Family Life Building, located at 521 South 1st Street at 6 o'clock on Saturday evening. They'll be giving away a lot of prizes, too, the Reverend Ryan Pate, pastor of the church, says. This is for all ages, a back-to-school bash, Saturday evening, 6 o'clock, at the First Assembly of God Churches, Family Life Building, 521 South 1st Street, here in Muleshoe. So get on the bandwagon, and we'll take you right there. Undelay, Big Bertha, get over there, Monkey Paw, Little Red, Corina, Art Butus. Oh, she went school shopping already and didn't get in on the tax-free weekend. Slow down there, Arbutus. Monkey Paw, Julia Gray, Isla Ann, Ola. over hill and plain. Seems as how they never stop. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, clippity-clippity-clippity-clippity-clippity. It is time now for the birthdays and wedding anniversaries. Celebrating birthdays on Thursday, August 11th that we know of are Chad Patton. Christian Rojas and Adrian, uh, Adriana Guerra. Celebrating on Friday, August the 12th, J.D. Cage, Freddie Bleeker, Tina Seals, Dean Black, John Robinson, Rayford Maston, Keisha Witt Stickler, Mary Sutton, Clara Flores, Colton Harris, Adri- uh, Ariana Diaz, excuse me, Keisha Stickler, the former Keisha Witt, Lindsay Sheree Wood, Rudy Gonzalez, Roxanne St. Clair, Lavetta Black Valdez, Robin Hovland Davis, celebrating on uh, wedding anniversaries, 
On Friday, August 12th, Mr. and Mrs. Jinx Myers, a big happy wedding anniversary goes out to them. Mr. and Mrs. Barry Freeman, a big happy anniversary goes out to Mr. and Mrs. Joe King and Mr. and Mrs. Corey Williams as well, along with uh, Shay uh, Wilbanks Hope and her husband Stephen celebrate a wedding anniversary on Friday, August the 12th. Celebrating birthdays on Saturday, August 13th that we know of her, Dana Rempe, happy birthday goes out to her down at uh, Edward Jones, Irma Jean Flores, Kayla Casiba, Gina Estrada, Hector Hernandez, Mario Flores, Susan McVicker, Kyler Steinbach, Nicholas Dow, Ramona Berlanga, Carleen Hamilton, Jimmy Green, Ashton Hardwick, Manuela Daniel, Chase Winkler, Barbara Pearson. Celebrating on Sunday that we know of, August the 14th, Daryl Bruns. Rio Gregory, Kenny Wycotton, Gloria Del Toro, Gary Watkins, Jennifer Castorina, Castorina, River McElroy, Leon Ovalle, Cicely Hooker, Rhonda Box, Blaine Shipman, Brandy Hamilton, Miranda Camarillo, Jonessa Toscano, and Marilyn Grant. Celebrating wedding anniversaries on Sunday, August 14th, Mr. and Mrs. Jay Harrington, Mr. and Mrs. Cliff Heinrich, Mr. and Mrs. Ronnie Barrett, Mr. and Mrs. Keith Forzaris, and Mr. and Mrs. Larry Sutton. Now here's Julia Gray all the way from Tampa, Florida, to wish you a happy birthday or wedding anniversary if you do celebrate today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. If you have a birthday or wedding anniversary to add to our calendar, call us here at Channel 6, 806-272-3990. It is time now for the bargain basement. Want to do starching and ironing, babysitting, taking care of the elderly, house cleaning? Call K Van Leer at 806-272-3356. That's want to do starching and ironing, babysitting, taking care of the elderly, house cleaning, reasonable rates. Call K Van Leer, 806-272-3356. A one-bedroom efficiency apartment for rent just outside of Sudan, four seventy-five dollars, uh, four seventy-five a month includes all utilities. Also, they have for sale books, books on tape, VHS movies, assorted used furniture. Call eight zero six two two seven two two one four. Every weekend in Sudan. On Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, eight a.m. to one p.m., they have the Sudan flea market with tons of vendors. They do have two booth spaces available. Call Doug uh, for information on those, 806-317-6588. They also have for sale wooden love seats, swings, craft booths, used appliances, and much, much more. That's 403 U.S. Highway 84 across from the Chuck Wagon Restaurant in Sudan, the Sudan Flea Market, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. For more information, contact Doug. 806-317-6588. This has been the Bargain Basement. If you have an item to place on our Bargain Basement today, call us here at Channel 6, 806-272-3990. It is time now for the Market Report, brought to you today by Wayne Pearson, Financial Advisor with Edward Jones, located at 104 West 2nd Street. Call 806 272 4102, speak with Wayne. He can assist you with any of your financial needs, no matter where you live. The market report was recorded this Thursday, August the 11th at 11.15 a.m. This is Dana Rempe of Edward Jones, member of the New York Stock Exchange Incorporated, bringing you the daily financial market report. U.S. stocks are advancing and Treasury prices are lower as an unexpected drop in jobless claims temporarily concern Europe's debt crisis is worsening. In other news, foreclosure filings plunged 35% after lenders and agencies increased efforts to keep delinquent borrowers in their homes. So far this morning in the S&P 500, the best performing sector is financials, while the worst performing sector is telecommunications. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up 253 at 10,973. The S&P 500 index is up 29 at 1,150, and the NASDAQ Composite Index is up 67 
at 2,447. This morning, volume on the New York Stock Exchange is low with 680 million shares traded. Advancers are outnumbering decliners by a wide margin. In commodity markets, the spot price of gold is down $37 to 1,755. The spot price of silver is down a dollar to 38. And crude oil prices are up 81 cents to 83. In bond markets, the 30-year Treasury yield is currently 3.59%, and the 10-year Treasury yield is 2.2%. In stocks of local interest, AT&T is up 31 cents to 28.19, BP is up 23 cents to 38.52, Apple is up $7.21 to 370.90, ConocoPhillips is up $1.20 to 63.91. Pfizer is up 39 cents to 1744. Norvadas is down 47 cents to 5406. Johnson and Johnson is up $2.03 to 6223. Excel Energy is up 51 cents to 2233. Windstream Corporation is up 23 cents to 1159. Ford Motor Company is up 7 cents to 1078. GE is up 24 cents to 1533. Bank of America is up 37 cents to 714. Citigroup is up 96 cents to 29.45. And Coach is down 63 cents to $52. This is Dana Rempe of Edward Jones, member SIPC, serving individual investors with personalized attention and long-term financial advice at 104 West 2nd Street in Muleshoe. Daily commentary is also located on our website at www.edwardjones.com.